exactly the bass we're looking for. We don't know what that lean, or I don't know if it's a lean top or if it's too fat, what it is right now, but all we're concerned about really is getting this 60 foot down. We know it'll top in the track, it always has. And so look that, good, I, you know. The bang is fitting the pile. Let's not talk about that right now. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are out here in the shop. Uh, if you watched the last video, uh, we're sunshining out the track. You saw that we we're having quite a few issues as far as it spit popping and banging and not really knowing for sure what that was. Uh, we're, we're pretty much 90% sure it's just blowing the spark out. I think what it was is we're putting way too much methanol in there. The temperature's way too cold, air's way dense, and we don't really need that. If you saw from the last pass where we pulled it off, what ended up happening is it, it ripped out of the hole and it got so far out and then it lean popped again. Well, that's driver error, I would say, tuner error on my fault because I didn't compensate enough timing being pulled from the car with not having the methanol going in there. So our first inclination was to think that maybe the methanol wasn't coming on, uh, was blowing too much in there, all sorts of things were going through our heads at the time we're out there at the track and you just don't really have time to sit back and kind of gather your thoughts and, and make a rash decision so what i'm gonna do out here today is is i'm gonna test the mess system uh dry fire it uh show you how basically how you can test this at your house yourself and on the 6014 box i'm going to show you how you can dry fire that or bench test it to make sure that yours is pulling the time it's supposed to be pulling and you know making all the corrections that it's supposed to be making as you're going down the track i've had subscribers uh you know comment to me that you know their box actually reverts back to base timing i've never seen one do that that's not saying it doesn't happen uh, but i'm going to show you on here and we're going to check mine to make sure that it's doing it and just kind of show you uh how it works and how you can do it how you can make a quick little setup at the house just to to test and know for sure for yourself on that so i'm gonna get everything hooked up it's a couple of different things we got to do. We got to do them separately at different times, but I'm going to show you how to hook it up to a compressor and through a line and then just, we'll, we'll get to it all here in just a second. Uh, but let me get all hooked up and we'll get right back to you. Okay guys, as you can see, I've got right here, I've got my line that's coming out of my methanol pump back there in the back. I've got it where I normally run into this and why after that, I've just got the main line running. You know, cut, put, poke a hole in the top here, put it in a bottle just so you can dry fire it. Uh, this is the actual activation switch or what the boost reference switch. I've got mine coming on probably at about eight to 10 pounds. I probably need to jump that up a little bit, but I've just taken the line off of all of this. I've just got it going straight to this switch. That'll fire that pump. And now this here, I've got that at 30 pounds because I'm gonna use that air same boost level to be able to test the box because I know I'm not gonna go above 30 pounds. So as long as it goes there and doesn't revert back to base timing, then I'm good. So all you wanna do is just plug your little hose into this here and you don't want to just hammer it because you don't want to mess that diaphragm there, but just kind of barely. Oh, stay on there. And you can see, it's seeing, that sucker's working like it's supposed to. And it's filling up quick. I mean, that couple little shots filled that much up. And when it sprays in those nozzles, it's a super, super, super fine mist. So I know this switch is working right here. So that helps me to, know in my head or actually know for sure that that's what it's doing is just blowing too much meth in there and blowing spark out we're just adding way too much fuel in the water and all that and it's just it's a bad combination when it's you know 45 degrees outside and i don't really need it especially with the carburetor because it actually drops air temperature almost in half anyway so i know that part of the equation is out of it so now i can hook everything back up the way it was i don't have to worry about that being the problem as far as the, the switch not coming on or, or not coming on, if that was the problem because of spit, pop, and bang. So now I'm gonna go inside the car. I'm gonna use the same type of setup. I know I've got this at 30 pounds. I'm gonna hook it up to the box. I got a little boost gauge in there and I'll let you watch on the computer screen. I've got it hooked up so it's all reading live in the right time and, and show you that it's pulling timing, where it's pulling timing, make sure everything's numbers are matching where it's supposed to go and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, here we go inside the car now. Got the computer up, I've got the computer plugged in. Uh, all you wanna do on the 6014 box is take this boost line, take it out. You don't necessarily need this little gauge we've got here. I just kinda use this as a, a visual. You're gonna see here on the computer screen, right here where you've got your ignition timing, you got your map sensor, which is 97 because there's nothing in there right now. 
you're gonna see that anyway. So this is kind of just a little visual, you know, to, to help me kind of hold the, the actual uh, air so I'm not just blasting it in there. So you just wanna get a little, you know, strip tee right here, plastic tee, run that through there. Uh, bring it out to here to an airline, tee it off, or you can just run it straight into the box. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is, you're just gonna wanna lightly, just slowly bring this air in, kind of match your KPA numbers on here. Like if you see on uh, the computer screen, if you see right there where your numbers are over here, where your time is being taken out, just kind of get the air to follow those numbers. Take it to, you know, 171, which is 10 pounds. Take it to 205, you know, which is 12. You know, take it to 226, which is 18. Take it to 239, you know, and so on and so on. Just to kind of give you an idea to make sure that it's holding the timing and it's pulling the right ignition timing at that point. And then I'll show you is that I've got that set, you know, overall unregulated to go to 30 pounds. I'll open this wide open and you'll see on this box here that it'll sit there and hold at 248, 250 and it'll just stay there. It'll hold the degrees of timing. It's not going to revert back to uh, 36 degrees timing. Now I've had uh, subscribers tell me that theirs have actually reverted back to base timing. I've never had that happen. This box has always been good. Uh, the one in Philo has always worked great. We've never had that kind of an issue. But I'm just gonna show you how you can dry fire this yourself, how you can bench test it uh, to make sure you, that yours is doing that and that yours isn't reverting back to any type of base timing. Because if it, you know, 27 pounds of boost, if it hits 36 degrees timing, that sucker is going to scream for about a second and a half and then it's gonna freaking pop open like a champagne bottle and spray graffiti everywhere. Uh, and you don't want that happen, especially, you know, tearing your stuff up. So, I'm gonna set this up, show you how we do it, and uh, just give a little dry run. Okay guys, here we go. If you're watching those numbers there, you'll see how just barely start to creep it in. And it's at 13 degrees time, and it's not what my ignition is, that's just showing where it is right now base. So it's actually gonna pull the timing from that. So, if you see, I go up to here, you see I'm moving up, let's get it back here down to about 171. See, right there at 171, if I can get it back up there. It's kind of tedious to do it, but you can get get the feel of it. So right there around that, it's 171, I'm taking out two degrees. So you see the timing at 171 is 11 degrees because I'm pulling out two degrees there. So that's holding good, okay? So we're gonna go up to 205. And just, you know, like I said, just kind of go through the numbers just to give you a feel to see what you got there. If we get up here around 205, eh, it's kind of hard to hold it up there, but it's taking out six. And as you can see, I'm right there, taking from 13.6, that's 7. So that's exactly what we need to do, you know, and then so on and so on. And as you can see, here, I'll open this thing wide open. You can hear it. It's holding 248. That's 30 pounds of air pressure going on that sucker. And it is sitting there holding, right taking 12 degrees of timing out of there. It's not moving. It's holding its last value. That's what you're wanting it to do. You're wanting it to want your max boost pressure. Again, this is only if you're going over 21 pounds of boost. That's the downfall of this of this, of this ignition system on this, is that that's the only thing it's do. It's got a two bar map sensor in it, and it's kind of limited on that. So if you want to run anything above 21 pounds of boost, you've got to take out at 21 what you want at 27. That was what I made the mistake on the other night is I unhooked the methanol because we didn't know if it was working or not. So we just eliminated that. I ran it on straight fuel and I only pulled out 12 degrees timing. Well, that's great at, at, at 20 pounds. Well, when it did that, it wanted to run, it hit 27 pounds, it boost creeped on me, which I know on these gates, when it's just gate pressure, I know that they're always gonna creep about five pounds, so that's dead on, but I didn't think it was gonna go that high. It went up to that, it lean popped, and got out of it, didn't hurt anything. You don't want that to happen. It's gonna get there quick too. You know, to sit there and say, well, you know, is the box limiting? Yes, it is limiting as far as how you can uh, manipulate and ramp timing in. But from that 21 to 27 goes so fast. Like I said before in, in, in previous video, if you're going to 25, 26, 27, around in there, 21 to 26 isn't that big of a jump. Your time is gonna be pretty close, maybe a degree or two, unless you're just really trying to dial something in and you're trying to, you know, it's the last run of the night, you're going for the big money. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to ramp it in a little better, but it's gonna go from the 21 to the 27 so fast that you're not gonna feel it in the car. But the car is gonna feel it in the timing, if that makes any sense. So again, that's the downfall of this box, but at least now I know this one's working. I have a visual of it, I've seen it, dry tested it, the meth's coming on. So we're taking this thing tomorrow, we're headed up uh, to Wichita Falls, we're gonna put this thing on the roller, get a little dyno session with it, uh, get all the kinks worked out of it, try to get all the spit popping and banging, we're gonna tune it with just fuel in it, uh, 
and then once we get that dialed in we'll try to put a little methanol in it just so we know that's where it's going to be when we uh you know race when it gets into warmer weather but this gives us a cold weather tune there's a couple of big races coming up here uh in the winter that we're going to try to make it to or we are going to make it to barring everything holds together uh, and we don't make too many changes because there's always going to be upgrades uh still decide if i want to change the heads on this and you know a couple of other things we can't leave it alone but that's the plan guys uh like i said we're gonna put on the dyno tomorrow not too concerned about the numbers of it i mean yeah a great power number is always great to have it's good to you know hang in your pocket and show people and all that we're not concerned about that we're wanting it to run we want it to run good and we want it to run safely uh we don't mind running with the tongue hanging out every once in a while but we want to be able to sure that it stays running we're going to get there put this thing on the rollers get a good number on it good safe number a good tune get everything burned right check plugs all that kind of stuff we do stuff old school way yes we still check plugs uh it's not everything on their laptop so we're gonna get there do that tomorrow try to get it all dialed in and uh bring it back get ready to go racing but with that guys i'm in this video right here thanks for watching thanks for subscribing any questions you have comment down below we'll catch you guys on the next one